God told Moses, send men to scout out the land of Canaan. I am giving this land to the Israelites. Moses sent out one leader from each family tribe. He told the men what to do. Go see what the land is like and whether the people who live there are strong or weak, few or many. Moses had a lot of questions. Is the land good or bad? Are the cities they live in camps or forts? Is the land good for farming? Are there any trees? Moses said, be courageous. So the men went and scouted out the land. They traveled around the land for 40 days. They cut down a cluster of grapes in the valley and carried it on a pole. Then they went back to Moses, Aaron, and the Israelite community to tell them what they saw. The land is good. It is flowing with milk and honey, they said. But the people living in the land are strong, and the cities they live in are large and well protected. Then Caleb, one of the spies, said, We must go up and take possession of the land. We can certainly conquer it with God's help. But the other men disagreed. The people are stronger than we are. We look like grasshoppers compared to them. The Israelites were afraid and they cried all night. They thought Moses and Aaron had brought them to Canaan to die. The Israelites said, let's appoint a new leader and go back to Egypt. Moses and Aaron fell on their faces before the Israelites. Joshua and Caleb, who had both scouted out the land, tore their clothes and said to the Israelites, the land is extremely good. If the Lord is pleased with us, he will give it to us. Don't be afraid of the people living in the land. God is with us. The Lord spoke to Moses. How long will these people despise me? How long will they not trust me? God threatened to destroy all the people, but Moses said, please forgive the wrongdoing of the people. I know you are great, faithful, and loving. God replied, since you have asked, I will forgive them. But none of them who despise me will live to see the promised land of Canaan. Since Caleb and Joshua had followed God completely, God would let them enter the promised land. God said that the Israelites, who did not trust God, would face consequences for their sin. They would wander in the wilderness 40 years, and they would not enter the promised land. All of the spies who went to scout out the land died, except for Joshua and Caleb. Caleb and Joshua trusted God. God planned for Joshua to lead the next generation of Israelites into the promised land. Joshua was not perfect, but his faithfulness reminds us of Jesus, who is perfect. Jesus obeyed the Father and trusted his plan to save people from their sin.